So these days, the United States actually has the biggest, most interesting, most resplendent beer culture in the whole world, which is the last thing I would have thought was going to happen when I was drinking beer in college, you know, in the late 70s and early 80s uh, when there was one kind of beer. Uh, now, what's even more interesting than that is the way this beer culture has then come to the United States from Europe and then spread all over the world. So you go to Japan, or you go to Brazil, or you go to Sweden, or you go to Denmark, or you go to uh, France, and you will see people making beers that are influenced by American craft beers, which were originally influenced by British bitters and pale ales. So all these things are now going around in a big soup, in a big circle, and there is a worldwide craft brewing movement and places that you never would have thought of, for example, Brazil. I didn't know before I first went to Brazil that uh, back in the mid-1800s, they had huge German immigration, and there were whole areas of Brazil that until recently have been German-speaking and had lots of little German-style breweries. The Austro-Hungarian Empire held Mexico for three years, resulting these days in these amber lagers that are uh, based out of uh, the styles of beer originally came from Vienna. So you have Dos Equis Amber and Negro Modelo and uh, Noche Buena and all these dark beers that reach back a couple of hundred years to a Viennese history that most of us have forgotten. So uh, craft beer is not really in some ways a new thing, but it is an evolving thing and it really takes in the entire world.